Yo, three Flipper Zero projects you need to try in 2026. What if your Flipper Zero wasn't just a flipper anymore? What if it was the brain for a pocket-sized Linux-powered pen testing computer? This is the Flipper Black Hat, and it's just one of the three awesome projects I'm showing you today that truly redefine what this little device can do in 2026. We'll go step-by-step step from total beginner to pro. Now, the Flipper Zero has come a long, long way. For years, it's pretty much been the go-to multi-tool for tinkerers and security pros, but a lot of people still only think of it for the classic stuff, you know, like reading RFID cards, playing with sub gigahertz signals, and maybe causing a little harmless mischief. But now in 2026, the community has pushed this gadget so far beyond its original design that it's almost a completely different beast. Today, we're looking at three projects that show off this evolution. We're moving past the basics into serious customization and professional grade tools. We'll start with an on-device creative suite, then we'll give your flipper internet access to unlock a whole world of connected apps. And finally, we'll take a look at the Linux powered beast we saw at first. And of course, a quick but important heads up, everything I'm showing you is for educational purposes only. The point is to learn, experiment, and understand how technology works not to cause trouble. Please only test these tools on your own devices and networks. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. Okay, first up, let's make your Flipper Zero truly yours. Now in the past, customizing your Flipper's animation meant a complicated process of you know finding GIFs or images, um, splitting them into frames on your PC, and manually editing text files. But in 2026, that's history. The community has replaced that entire workflow with a single powerful app called Icon Edit. Now, Icon Edit is a game-changing application that lets you create and edit icons and animations directly on the Flipper itself. No computer, no SD card swapping, just pure on-device creativity. You can pretty much draw pixel art from scratch or edit existing animations frame by frame. Now, to me, the best part is its preview feature, uh, which lets you see exactly how your icons and animations look on the device as you are making them. So here I go, I can click a dot there and move things around. We have our L, let's make a bigger L. But it's really cool. You can create new icons with custom sizes um, and then save them in different formats and manage your creations all from the flippers little screen. It's really the easiest and most satisfying way to give your flipper a personal touch. Now the official Wi-Fi dev board was a huge deal for the flipper, but for years, its potential was split between different projects. But now there's a firmware that truly transforms the flipper from an offline gadget into a truly connected device. This brings us to our second project, installing the Flipper HTTP firmware. Now, Flipper HTTP is a firmware for the ESP32 powered Wi-Fi dev board that gives your Flipper full internet access. Now, this isn't just for simple updates, it unlocks an entire ecosystem of online applications. By flashing Flipper HTTP, your device can send and receive data from the web, opening up possibilities that were once just a dream. So what can you actually do with it? Once Flipper HTTP is running, you can access a whole new world of apps. There's an on-device app store called Flip Downloader, uh, letting you browse and download new apps without a computer. Here I am, I can go and search under tools and we should find the exact icon app that we saw earlier on the Flipper Lab. And there's also Flip Social, which is a social media platform just for Flipper users to chat and share. Here I am about to post a message directly to the feed. I'm gonna say, yo, what's up? Click done, it will post, then it will refresh the feed and there is my message. To like a post, I click the center button, which will flip a post for like or unflip a post to unlike the post that I flipped. You can also leave a comment on post by clicking down and then clicking down again and start typing on the keyboard. 
The latest update has autocomplete. I can start typing a word like yo, go up and click the box, and then hold the center button and it will be added to my text. Then I can go and click done and the comment will send. Um, next we have messages and these are private messages between users. Um, you can go and click on a name um, and then you can go and send the message. And that just says hi. I'll go and say yo. Uh, where am I? Here we go. Why? Auto correct. Hold OK and go and hit done. And the best part, installing Flipper HTTP has become incredibly simple. Many custom firmware for the Flipper Zero itself now include the ESP Flasher tool. You pretty much connect your Wi-Fi dev board, uh, you navigate to the Flasher app, select Flipper HTTP from a list, and hit Flash. The Flipper handles the entire process. Once it's done, you can use a companion app to connect to your local Wi-Fi. And just like that, your Flipper is online and ready to explore a whole new universe of connected software. Okay, our final project is the most advanced. This is where the Flipper goes from being a standalone tool to the command center for a real Linux powered computer. Say hello to the Flipper Black Hat. Now, the Flipper Black Hat is a powerful open source add-on board that plugs into the Flipper's GPIO pins. But this is more than an accessory, it's a single board computer running a custom Linux OS built for security testing. In this setup, the Flipper has a new job. It somewhat acts as a power bank and a serial terminal, allowing you to send commands and view output directly from the Black Hat board. This is a dream setup for security pros. Since it's running Linux, you can use powerful command line tools for advanced Wi-Fi attacks, uh, network analysis, and penetration testing with support for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It's like having a portable Wi-Fi pineapple or Kali Linux rig controlled entirely by your flipper. However, there's one major downside, availability. Now, the Flipper has been unavailable to customers in the United States since early September 2025 due to shipping policy issues. Now, while there is a expected fix soon, as of early 2026, the wait continues for a few more weeks. But for those who can get one, setting it up involves flashing the Black Hat's OS to your SD card, um, installing a companion app on the Flipper and plugging the two together. You launch the app and you greet it with a Linux command line on your Flipper screen ready to go. Well, that's a wrap. Three projects that really show just how far the Flipper has come. If this helped you out, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more Flipper Zero projects and tutorials or news about the upcoming Flipper One. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.